Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Juana and I am the Crafty Puerto Rican. Today we're going to be start working on how to make a template for beginners, all right? So I'm going to take you step by step. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you um, the design that I'm going to um, teach you how to uh, convert from SVG to rhinestones. I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to pick the one that I am going to be working with. Um, right here. And this is um, Gale Power. It's a basic SVG file that I converted, all right, into rhinestones. Um, this SVG design did not allow me to um, separate the colors, okay? For some reason, it did not allow me to do that. But um, that, it's okay because we once we start brushing the stones, I can just do separate brushing. I plan to make this a different color from the face itself, all right? First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to the left and I'm gonna go to my file right here. And I'm gonna find the file that I want to um, work with, all right? Here. And I'm going to pick this one right here and I'm going to open it. The first thing we have to do um, in order for us to um, uh, work on it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the sizing that I want to work with. Okay. Um, I would like this design to be at least um, in width. I would like it to be um, at least 10.5. All right. Um, if you notice, if I trying to ungroup this, it doesn't give me the choices to group or ungroup. It's a set file, so I cannot change this design. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make it bigger. Yeah, that looks good, all right? So once I do that, um, now this will allow me to go ahead and start converting them into rhinestones. It's very important that you decide what size you want to design before you go to the rhinestones. You go to rhinestones and you do all the work, you cannot switch the sizing. I do my designs on S S10 um, rhinestones. So yeah, so now I'm gonna go to, there's two ways you can do this. You can either go to your left into panels and choose rhinestones right here. Or you can go to the lower right, where there's a little icon here, like a little arrow. You're gonna click that and you can choose the right one from here, okay? Either way is fine. So once we are here on the right stone panel, it gives me three choices. It gives me nothing, which is what we are right now. It gives me the edge, the lineal, or the um, radial. I'm gonna choose a 10 SS right here, okay? And once I'm here, I'm gonna test which one looks better. This is the edge. And I am loving the edge. I don't think I have to do anything to it. All right. Um, this is the uh, lineal, which I don't like. It's very square out. I really don't like it. It's, it's, it's not the perfect thing. And then um, the radio. Radio is a little bit scattered. Um, it could be it. But I think, um, I don't know. I don't know, it's not that bad. Let me see, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go to the spacing section and I'm gonna be working on the spaces between the rhinestones, all right? So I'm gonna lower this. Um, default comes with 0.039. I'm going to switch it to 0 0.019 um, and see how it looks. And it's a little bit better. It's not that bad at all. Um, let me see how the lineal will look. And you know, it's pretty clean. If you just want lineal and you don't want no, nothing filled in here, you can pick that one. Yeah. Let me look for, um, um, I'm sorry, this is the uh, edge, not the lineal, the edge. The edge gives me a clean look and, you know, you click it that way, this is ready to go. You don't have to make any changes whatsoever. 
what I want to um, do, go back to the linear. I don't like it, it's very square. I don't know, it's, it's not complete. Let me go to the um, radio again. And I'm liking the radio. There's a lot of changes we will have to do. We have to fill in some holes in here, okay? Um, but it's not that bad. Let me switch to a smaller amount of spacing. Let me switch the spacing a little bit. Let's go to 10. And I like the 10, you see? It's not that bad. Um, let me look for the 15. see the different um, I'm liking this right here so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna pick this one right here okay and I'm gonna fill in the empty spaces because I think this is the best I like it to be filled in all right and I think I'm gonna be working with this so once we have it here and I want to change the stones okay I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to um, release the stones for it to allow me to switch things around, okay? Um, in order for me to do that, I'm just going to click here, release stones. And I want to show you down here on the lower section, it will tell you the amount of stones this design is going to take. And it's going to be 1,031 stones. That's the amount of stones I'm going to need for this project. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to release the stones. I'm going to be waiting for that to happen. And it's right there. You notice there's little squares that will allow me to move the stones around, okay? So I'm going to start in the bottom right here. I have I don't have to do any changes. I'm going to make this bigger to show you, okay? Um, I need to either eliminate this stone right here. Let me eliminate this. I don't need this anymore. Um, which uh, that's what I'm going to do. Or you can move it and move it closer. Just pick this individually and you can move it closer right here. It's up to you. Or you can choose to just delete it, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete this. I do right click, delete. And then um, you can up to fill this in inside or you can leave it like that. You see, this is uh, your own design and you're going to choose which um, where you want to go. Some people like everything filled in. Some people like the contour like that and leave it empty. I'm going to, um, I like sometimes to fill it in. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click duplicate and I'm going to add one in here. And if you notice, this is very close. So I'm going to see if I can move this one to the right and make some space. You're going to move it without changing the design too much. All right. So right now, the, the stones are easy to move because I, I released them. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. In here, I'm going to go and duplicate this one and add a stone up here. Okay. And I can try to add another one. I don't think it's going to fit. It's going to be too close for comfort. So I'm not going to move this right here. And that is the way you um, move the stones around. Here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to go in here like this. I'm going to attempt to put right in the bottom. But again, it's too close for comfort. So I'm going to leave it, leave it like that. I'm going to delete that. But at least it gives me a little bit of a feel. It gives me a little bit more of a feel. Look. All right. Everything is fine right here. So let's keep going to the left. And I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because once I explaining how to do it, I'm just gonna leave it kind of done, you know what I'm saying? And then go to the next step. That way the video is not gonna be way too long, all right? So I'm gonna try to move this down to make space for this one. Let me move this around. This looks fine in here, all right? I won't be able to feel nothing closer to here, at least not on this that I'm doing with you. And I'm going to tell you one thing. You can be opening this design more than one time to repeat it 
And for some reason, the software will give you a different result. Uh, when I did my original one uh, and I did the radio, it filled it in completely. But this time, they didn't want to do it. But that's the way the uh, software worked. So um, to me, this is it's been the first time doing this one because it feels completely different from the other one. Okay, on this one, all I had to do is move this a little bit this way. Um, this eye doesn't look that bad. It's pretty much okay. The whole thing is that you want the design to look completely filled in. Sometimes you can achieve that and sometimes you cannot. Okay. Okay. Like that. Okay. And this one doesn't fit in here, so I'm gonna delete that. And I'm just gonna leave it as this. Okay, it's pretty much okay. This I'm gonna move more into the middle and make it look like more fill. And this is the way you do it, okay? Um, like I said, I am not going to finish the whole thing, but at least you have an idea how it's done, okay? Just gonna rearrange this to give you an idea how it's gonna be looking. The one that I'm going to um, brush with you guys and press might look a little bit different. But like I said before, every time you open the file and you try to repeat the same design all over again, it gives you a different arrangement of the stones. But I think this is an excellent example on how you can get a regular SVG file that you love and you want to convert into rhinestones without having to go to the whole design of your own, which is doable. You can make your own design, all right? All right. I'm just duplicating and placing into uh, different places right here. Um, I don't think I can fit another one in there, which is okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. You see, it's too tight. The space is too tight. And the reason why you want to leave spaces in between is because um, once you start um, cutting the file into the uh, flock, if you don't have enough spaces, um, they tend to rip, all right? They're gonna tend to rip, and then you're gonna break break the template. And flock is very expensive. You don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to mess up your flock once you cut it, because like I said, flock is expensive, okay? So I'm gonna place this one in here. A little bit too close for comfort. Let me make a little bit of space in here. That looks good. And this one, I'm going to leave a hole in the middle. Okay. And then you go on and on and on. And I like my heart to be filled. So I'm gonna add some extra stones in here to make it better. So you see how easy it is to do this? It's not difficult. Um, it actually is kind of relaxing for me. Um, So I'm gonna leave it like that, okay? And I think this looks like this. The art, which I'm not gonna be working. This is too close, so you want to move a little bit this way to, so that you can um, separate the letter a little bit. So now it looks more separated. Okay, people, this is the way it's gonna be done. So let's say that you are done with this already. So wanna select everything around. 
once you select the whole thing, you're gonna go to the top panel and you're gonna pick object and you're gonna pick group. So it's gonna group the whole thing. Once you pick grouped, you're gonna go back to the panel. All right, pick object again, and you're gonna pick make compound path. And if you notice, I did not select the whole thing and I left this black in here. I'm gonna select the whole thing again. I'm gonna go back to object. I'm gonna hit group. Okay. And I'm gonna go back to on the top and then I'm gonna select again, make compound path. And you select the whole thing. So you want to make sure that you're gonna select the whole thing, all right? Now I'm gonna select it and I want to change the color because I don't like this color. When you leave it this color and you um, send this to Cricut Design Space as an SVG file, it's gonna come very clear and you won't be able to see it um, because the color is too light, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead to the color panel on the right side of the panel. I'm gonna select the blue color. You can select any color you want. I just like selecting the blue for this one. And then I'm gonna go to the right panel. I'm gonna go to the one, two, three, fourth icon. I'm gonna click that. Then I'm gonna click the second icon that had the multicolor right here. And then I'm gonna go to the right, to the white um, block right here, it's clear. I'm gonna click it and you notice how it turned in blue. You always have to do this every time you want to give colors to your rhinestones because otherwise it's gonna have a dark color in the middle and a red color around and you don't want that on your design, all right? It gives it like a border, all right? So once I'm here, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna be writing the dimensions that I just did because you need that information um, before you download it to your downloads because the, those are the dimensions you're gonna be using for cutting, all right? These dimensions are gonna be the same dimensions. I'm gonna be switch it to create a design space to cut the rhinestones. If you don't plot the right dimensions or you know width and height, the holes are gonna be a different size. All right. So we have for width 10 point 142 in width by 8.637 in height. So now that I have that information, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the top panel on the left, the file. And then I'm gonna click save as. And this time I'm gonna save it as save to hard drive, okay? It's gonna open up this panel and I it's already have written girl power smiley because that's the name of the SVG file. I'm gonna keep it that way, but I'm gonna add rhinestones. I always add rhinestones so that I can uh, have an idea what kind of a file is it, right? And then I'm gonna put the dimension. I'm gonna put a width of 10.142 and the height of 8.637, all right? And then I'm gonna to go to the lower section right here where it says save as type. I'm gonna open this drop down and I'm gonna click SVG. All right, so once I have this, I'm gonna um, click that I want it on my downloads. Um, you can choose your desktop. You can choose, choose your um, documents. I always put mine on my downloads. All right, so once I have it here, I'm gonna click okay. And this is already done. This is on uh, Cricut Design Space and that's it. I'm gonna take you now to Cricut Design Space, all right, to go to the next step. Okay, so we are here on Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna open here and I'm gonna go to Canvas. Once I am in Canvas, I'm gonna go here to upload down here. And once I'm here, I'm gonna click what it says upload image. I'm gonna go to browse and I'll go to downloads and I'm gonna pick my file. It says care power smiley face rhinestone, okay? Then I'm gonna click down here, open. And it's right here, the one that we just did. I'm gonna go upload. And I'm going to go ahead and click this. 
to be uploaded. And I'm gonna go to the lower right side and click Add to Canvas. Okay, I'm gonna make it smaller. Once I'm here, you have to make sure that the dimensions that you wrote down are the same ones in here. In this case, it says 10.14 by 8.64. And then the ones that we wrote down says 10.14 right here. Perfect, right? Um, it's not gonna write the smaller numbers like the two because it doesn't run up to a five. So it's gonna keep it at one four and it's okay. And the height says 8.64, which we wrote 8.637, which rounded out is 8.64. So once we have it here, which is a perfect size, we don't have to change any, anything. If for some reason you transfer the file and the numbers are smaller, then you're gonna go up here, you're gonna make sure that it's locked in and you're gonna write your dimensions in here. Once you write it in here, you're gonna click enter and it's gonna switch everything around for you, all right? In other words, you're gonna make sure that the numbers that came through here, you're gonna change the sizing in here, okay? And then that's it. Um, okay, so once you're here and you're sure that all the dimensions are the perfect sizing, all you have to do is you're gonna go to click make it, okay? Right now, um, it's gonna give you the one template, the whole thing, all right? And I'm gonna hit continue, but I'm not connected to my, um, Cutting machine. So um, the next steps are the regular step that you do. If you notice, it's not going to give me anything because like I said, I'm not connected. All right. So you're going to have the regular steps um, where you're going to go and you're going to pick your uh, material. In this case, the material is going to be rhinestone uh, flop, which is already preset on my cricket. Um, if you want to know how to do this, I have a video that will show you all the steps on how to do this, all the steps, how to cut it, all the step on how to choose your new material and add it to your Cricut um, list. And then the whole step, even placing the plot into the Cricut machine once it's done. Um, you can go back to my videos. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna link those videos on this one so that you can go back to that next step. This is the other one that I converted from an SVG file. But in this one, I um, made some changes. This SVG file allowed me to work with the colors, um, which this one didn't. I had to make it on one color because it, like I said, it did not allow me to separate the uh, elements of the design. Here, I was able to switch the font. On this one right here, I was able to make my own design. I switched it, in other words. Um, the fonts on this one originally was very small and it was on the right. The face was very round and I didn't like it, so I contoured the, the face a little bit thinner. And I also changed the shape of the mouth. Um, when I switched this font, I overlap in here, right here. And then I extended the M just to contour the side of the face, which it was empty, all right? Um, this right here, which I overlapped, it was pretty simple to do. I plan to um, do another video. Um, and I'm going to show you how can you overlap the font into a design and make it work. I'm going to brush this design, yes, but I am going to show you how to do this in a different design in the future, which I'm going to show you how to make your own file and how to overlap the fonts or the um, whatever um, message you want to um, include into the design itself. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So guys, the next step that we're gonna do is just brush the stones, all right? So I'm gonna see you in a little bit. Okay, so this is the first design that we're going to brush. Um, we're gonna have the second one that I showed you that I also uh, converted from an SVG file. That one I'm going to brush it, but I'm gonna do a fast forward because I don't want this video to become too long. Um, so that one, you're going to see me doing it later after this, but I'm going to just brush it. Like, like I said, like a fast, fast pace. So, okay. So I'm going to be using, um, Citrine AB, which is a new stone that I got on my last, um, um, order from the baby's booty. Um, I'm going to link her site, um, for her, um, shop on the description box. 
Um, and then I'm going to list the colors that I use for this design. Like I said, this is a Citrin AB, and it's going to be the first time that I'm going to use it because I never used it before. I'm going to also be using um, Rose AB, which is also from the Baby's Booty, and that's going to be the color of the words up here. This is going to be, of course, it's a smiley face, so it's going to be around. And for the eyes and the smile, I'm going to be using, for the first time, I'm going to be using um, Jet Black. I love this tone, all right? So um, you have two options when you do this. Um, some people um, brush first one part, then they put it away, then they brush the separate color and put it away. And then when they go to the shirt to press it, they place things in um, the way they want it, okay? Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do it at once um you know you've seen me doing this before um it's difficult because you have to make sure that you're not going to mix the stone but i think this weight for me is faster but i just want to um, tell you about both options that you can have all right um and that way you know you choose the way you want it so i'm going to start with the girl power first and then i think i'm going to do the inside like the eyes and the smile and at the end i'm going to be doing the citrine because um it's just it's you know it's easy to do all right it's just around and i don't think it's going to bother any of these two parts um so okay so let's start with the um rose ab i had to order more this is so pretty the rose ab i mean you'll, you'll see how it looks you'll see how it looks So let's go for it. And I'm going to be pressing this on a heather green shirt. So I think it's going to look very, very nice, I think. I think it's going to look very nice. All right. If you see that I fast forward certain parts, you know the drill, right? I don't want the video to run too long and then people get bored, <laughs> all right? So you know that I use the fast forward a lot because of that reason. When you do tutorials, um, they tend to run long because it's, it's a tutorial. There's no way you're going to do a tutorial that is only 15, 20 minutes video. It's, it's not going to happen um, because it has a lot of parts to it. And you want to do a good explanation. You see, this is what I was thinking was going to happen. And um, I'm talking too much. That's what happened. <laughs> when I talk too much, then I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Usually, this doesn't happen to me. Usually... Um, I'm able to do it without um, it getting out of place. So I'll be doing less talking and more working, okay? <laughs> okay. So let's be more careful. Let's keep up here. Yeah, for the other design that I'm going to brush later, I'm going to be using a black shirt. Because I think the colors I'm going to choose for that shirt, it's going to look very nice in black.
this SVG file, I believe, is from Creative. Uh, yeah, it's from Creative Fabrica, I think. Um, I have um, Creative Fabrica link also in um, below in the description box if you want to um, you check it out. Um, I do have a membership with Creative Fabrica. They had a good um, membership this past. Um, I think it was around December, January. They ran a discount and I got it at a very good price for the year and I can get all the designs in all the areas that they offer for free for a whole year so yeah you should check it out maybe they still have a uh, discount um, going on on the membership I don't know how much is their regular membership I cannot tell you I really don't know because like I said I joined for the first time this past Christmas time um, and for the first time because of that sale. So I'm taking advantage of it. So if you want to know about Creative Fabric, I have a link below in the description box and you can check them out. Okay. It's a great thing. I mean, I get all my, I barely don't even buy anything from Etsy. I get embroidery file. I get um, um, PNG files, um, SVG files. You can get a lot of rhinestones file from them. Um, I got, I have gotten a couple of them, and all of them is free for the whole year because I already pay uh, paying a monthly fee, which is believe me, it's crazy, it's so low. So yeah, I'm happy that I joined because you know um, with this channel I do a lot of crafting, and I always want to bring stuff that are fresh and new. So I am been getting all my files for everything from Creative Fabrica. All right. Okay. So now you see how easy that was. So now we're going to do, um, I'm going to be working on the inside first and I'm going to be using jet black, which for the first time. So I can't wait to use it. I really can't wait to use it people. All right. Rose A B is blinging. I mean, it's like, I don't know if you can appreciate it on the on the camera. I had to look very close to make sure you see like this one right here is turned over. But sometimes it's difficult to see because the bling is amazing. And I'm missing one in here. But luckily, there's an extra one in here that I did not pick up. So let's put it there. I had to look very closely and make sure that there's no double stones anywhere. Okay. Because then once you put the KTM um, transfer tape, it's very difficult to, you know, take them off because, yeah, they get stuck in the transfer tape. And um, I don't see any double stones. I will check again after I'm done with everything. So I'm going to use the jet black here. And the last one that I'm going to be using is going to be the C3 AB. So these two, Citrine, AB, and Jet Black, are be the first time for me using it. So I am excited about it. So let me put them. Um, I always double check the color bar because it have been time that I have placed colors and I said, "Whoops, that's the wrong box." So I think that should be enough for now so let's see how they're gonna show oh my god they are blinging they are blinging i love them look at this yeah this, this is going to look great in that green shirt
So um, each one of these little um, boxes bring a lot of stones. This is a 20 gross of stones in here, okay? So yeah, 20 gross. I believe that in each gross there's 400 stones. So it's a lot of stones. Um, I hope that I give you the right information, but I think that's the, the, the amount. You can also get a bigger um, box. This one. This is a bigger box, all right? And it has a lot of stones. This is the crystal, and this is my favorite color stones. Um, she has a lot of different colors, um, but this is not the AB. This is just a regular crystal. She also um, has crystal AB, which have a different kind of shine, but this is the size that you can get also. And I'm gonna start getting this size from now on because now I'm been testing all the colors, which I like them all. So I'm gonna little by little start getting my collection going with the big boxes, all right? But I wanted to show you that you can also get this big um, box, all right? Okay, so we are ready already with the um, jet black. So now we're gonna do the last one, which is the citrine AB. And I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. Very careful with this because now I have those two going. And like I said, you can choose to pick this up separate and then do this separate. That's up to you. I'm gonna be daring and dare myself to do it this way. Okay, and I don't want to have to um do it separate. So I'm just gonna take my time little by little. No rush. stone in there and that uh, there's no holes missing okay so let's just carefully there's another double stone in here you see how you can miss them they try to hide but I can see them let me Carefully, carefully move this around. And while I'm moving around, I'm checking. I don't see any missing stones anywhere. This one is moved in here on the top. Let me pick this up. That is looking so gorgeous. I love that I showed those colors. They are looking amazing. These jet black people get this stone. You have to get it. You have to get it. <laughs> oh my lord. So we're going to pick this up. And 
this is big enough. Yeah, I think this is big enough. If you are new to this and you've never seen done this before, I have videos, especially for beginners, doing very basic rhinestones, and I explain everything about it from beginning to end. I show you step by step on how to get your design on Silhouette Studio Business Edition, because you need the business edition to be able to work with rhinestones, and then how to transfer this design, converting converting it to an SVG file, and then you will transfer it to Cricut Design Space. And from there, you will, um, you know, um, place it to be cut. And then I'll show you how to um, prepare the flock for cutting on a cutting mat and how to place it on the Cricut. And yeah, so you can go and check my videos. So this is it. Let's just pick it up, people. Reason why I massage, you see me doing this, is because I want to make sure that all the stones are stuck to the transfer tape. Especially because I have used this tape more than one time. You can use this transfer tape, I say maximum, I think maybe three times depending on how big is your design, because they tend to lose their stickiness, all right? So I usually don't use them more than three times. That's what I do. You're going to pick it up slowly, and then you're going to make sure that there's no stones left behind, all right? You see, there's two stones left behind back there. So I'm just going to slowly go back, massage on top of them, and then pull again. All right? And that should take care of it. I'm going to place the back backing of the paper so I can preserve it till I am ready to press it. And this is not... Completely on the side. Make sure that everything is covered, all right? So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start the, the next um, brush. And like I told you, I'm not gonna be doing any talking. It's gonna be all working and fast forward. But you're gonna see me um, brushing it, okay? Look how pretty. I love the choice of colors. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So see you in a little bit, people. I'm going to set up for the next one, okay?
Okay, guys, so we're going to press the shirt. This is a hot pill, okay? You look amazing. Beautiful people, I love it. Look at the bling. Just beautiful. Girl power. Alright, so let's do the next one, alright? This one is looking very nice, so I'm gonna cover this part because I don't want to. I, I have stones in here, so I, I'm gonna cover it. That's why I'm using this, okay? Wow, I want to show it to you. Look at how beautiful people. Mental health matters. It came out so pretty. Really like it a lot. people so I'm gonna go to the table I'm gonna show it to you with more details okay I am in love with this black shirt I mean those tones are blinging and the colors are amazing the same in the green shirt I really really like it a lot so guys, I'm very happy with the result. And um, now you know how to create a template using an SVG file. If you remember the last video or the last two couple of videos, I embroidered this shirt. For those who have not seen the video, go back to my channel and watch it. Um, this is the one that is around the neck embroidery. And um, the second video, I did the right sleeve embroidery. So if you want to learn how to do it, go back and check my channel, all right? I am very happy with the results, very, very happy. They came out amazing. So guys, I will see you pretty soon. If you're new to my channel, um, I have not subscribed yet. Consider subscribing to my channel, The Crafty Puerto Rican. Also, don't forget to hit the like button or the thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future videos. I will see you soon with some new contents. So guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you later. Hasta luego.